Well guys in today's video we are going to talk about why Emusama desires Vivi and what is his relation with Queen Lily. Well in chapter 1086 Emu mentions Queen Nefertari Lily and asks King Cobra about Queen Lily's letter. Specifically her name and when Cobra mentions that her name was Nefertari D. Lily Emu gets very angry and stabs Cobra with a spiky tail attack and it was clear that Lily had betrayed Emu in some sort of way and it was later revealed by Emu-sama that Lily was the reason that Palmglyph were distributed in One Piece world and the history and things written on Palmglyph became a source of disaster. That could lead to the downfall of Emu and world government but a question still remains why Lily betrayed Emu-sama in the first place well the answer is simple Lily was always working for Joy Boy. Even her being part of 20 Kingdom Palatian was Joy Boy's plan as Joy Boy knew that he was going to be defeated by Emu and other monarchs so he planted Lily so she could distribute the Palmglyph and truth about Ancient Kingdom Joy Boy's mission and Void Century could relay to next Joy Boy to come so in short Queen Lily was never with Emu and other monarchs that only desired the power rather she was Joy Boy's friend and later when she refused to become Celestial and ascend to Mary Jo's Emu had her killed for refusing his proposal. And reason why Emu-sama desires Vivi is that Vivi looks exactly like Queen Lily and it seems her face or blood is important for Emu-sama as you can see in chapter 1116 Emu is looking at a portrait of Lily and it is also a proof for that Vivi face or blood is important to Emu-sama to unlock some chamber or power that the 20 kings can only open together as Emu is only one among 20 and if he has other 18 kings face or blood already then Emu needs only one that is Vivi who is spitting image of Lily.